Ta-da! New video. One video that I didn't mention in my update video was that I was going to do a segment about my piercings, tattoos, body mods, what I have, what I will have, and what I have had in the past. So first I will go and explain what I have in currently all over my body and tattoo and piercing wise and then I will explain what I had that either rejected, um, migrated, or I just decided I didn't like. First, I have my eyebrow pierced. It is the most recent. I got it last semester. It has a key light on it at the moment, which hurts a little bit, but I'm using witch hazel to cure it and soothe, soothe the skin around it. The other piercings I have are my right and left nostrils, which would be the opposite for you, because you're looking at me. And then I have my septum, my left and right lip, so that is just on my face right now. My ears are pretty boring, they're not very fancy. I have <clears throat> a size 2 gauge, um, that's an American size or plugs if you really want to say that. I don't know what it is in European or British or other parts of the world. You can look it up on Google if you want conversions. I don't know off the top of my head. I have two signal piercings above that. Very boring. I also have a two on this side because they're even. And then I also have two single piercings above that. The only fancy ear piercing that I have currently is my little snug. I love this one. It healed beautifully. It's still a little sore occasionally, but it's one of my favorite ear piercings. The other body piercings that I have currently are two dermals on my chest. They're right here. One and two. And then I have my pierced. Hooray, go me. But I'm going to show you because they look like normal piercings that look like that. They're nipple piercings. And that's about it. What I have for tattoos currently are two on my hands. Uh, this is what they look like when my hands are down. This is what it looks like when my hand is up. These are my second and third tattoos. The first tattoo I ever got is on my neck. And I'll show you that after I explain these ones. This is intentionally tattooed upside down. Because you can only see it when I flip you off. Yay! It is the sign for Mercury. And also a Marilyn Manson symbol, or a symbol that he uses in his music. I like the fact that it's upside down because, like I said, I can flip you off and you can see my lovely tattoo. I'm not flipping you off, I just have a tattoo. It means androgyny and also everything that Mercury stands for. I wanted something that looks semi onk like like <laughs> on my hand. Um, the sec second tattoo that is on my hand is the heartogram. The heart is love. The triangle means death, essentially. If you want to get more into it, it's all four elements, including death. Um, I got this one specifically on my ring finger because I feel like if I'm going to share my life with somebody, it's going to be for life, and death do us part. So whoever has the honor of giving me a ring, or wanting to be with me for eternity, then they will understand that life and death, forever. And also it's one of my favorite bands, <laughs> and I just, I feel it's important to have it specifically on my ring finger. The first tattoo I ever got was my Ankh, another symbol. I 
changed it a little bit. I put horns on it, and an ankh symbolizes um, life, eternity. Egyptians used it a long time ago, obviously. <laughs> um, <laughs> I had filigree um, put around it, and I had red and black ink filled in, and I really love this one. And I'll also include a picture here. Yay, picture! And then this is what it looks like. So currently that is what I have in my body. What I've had in the past is obviously no other tattoos. I don't have enough money to get laser removed tattoos. So these are the only three I've ever had. I plan on getting two full sleeves. One, I'm rich and famous, which won't happen for a very long time. Because I really I like very, very good artwork and um, a lot of detail and color, so it's going to be pretty expensive. I want probably a chest piece and something on my back and both of my thighs. I want almost my whole body tattooed, which is going to take a very long time and it's a process of deciding what you want, artist-wise, stuff that you won't grow old of, and just the way your life goes if you want a new tattoo or not. So currently I only have three. The piercings that I used to have, which I had to take out, two, these two I had to take out in England when I went because they either migrated or I was dumb and forgot to put it back in. Um, originally I had right there was my first bridge piercing. The second one which I had to take out in England was a curved bar kinda like this one um, and that was done correctly correctly as in my point of view that it stayed in correctly it was good I think the reason why it rejected and migrated was because the water changes from different countries uh, my, my skin's really sensitive so I think I was playing with it too much as well so it just got irritated and was starting to um, <clears throat> move a little bit anyway so I just ended up taking it out I just got really irritated um, the the one that was lower was a straight bar and did not feel good and was way too far into the cavity of my skin and and the bridge of my actual like skull it hurt a lot um I had my middle of Brett pierced you can see the little dot I just took it out because I was irritated with it and I forgot to put it back in. Go me. I've had this pierced seven times. Seven, one, two, once, once, twice. My first bridge three times because of technical difficulties. Let's just say that. And the top one once. Eyebrow once. Ears once. Once, 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 and once. Um, same thing with these and my journals. I forgot one piercing that also got rejected um, was my bottom dermal. I actually had three dermals in a row. Um, it got caught in a box when I was moving and it pulled to the top layer of my skin and I could see the bottom of the L piece through my skin. And I was like, hey, I should get this goat. Get this and get it go and cut out. Yep. <laughs> no, I said I have to get it cut out because, ow, it hurts. Other than that, I plan on getting this middle labret done. My medusa, I think that's what you call it. Whatever, I'm just going to point to things. This, I might get my bridge redone. I really wanted a dermal in the middle of my forehead. Either like a... Uh, medium sized one and then one more above it so it's like a little dot 
and then a little tier, so it's kind of like, almost like a triangle. So a bigger one on the bottom, and then a tiny one on top. Um, and I probably wanted to get Dahlia Bites, um, Angel Bites, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then just my entire ear and my ear covered, and then I want my dermal back, and I want to get dermals on my collarbones and possibly a scarification bite marks of my beloved <laughs> on my neck. Um, whoever that shall be. Um, that is it for my body modifications, piercings, and tattoo video. Hope to see you guys soon. Bye-bye!